to please right. and uh, you know from Kenosha. And look, it's an, it's an intelligent it's an intelligent point, right? I guess what I'm saying is is there is there a gap where where the community because I just think that the communities really need to be making decisions and having autonomy of, over the way their communities function, and I think that that's not what's happening, right? Like I, I think right now these communities are being viewed as um, like a nuisance because they're fucking up things for the, the other people. I think that's how they're viewed, where the communities are like, hey, like we have community specific problems that you do not understand. You're not in our community, right? We don't know who you are. You look at us as the other. You, there is this xenophobia and this I don't fear. disagree with anything you're saying, but I can't, uh, considering the history of uh, private corporations with just water, private prisons, uh, probation, uh, debt collection. Sure. You look at that history. The, the, my whole issue with a libertarian theory, uh, uh, like government is bad, big government is bad. It's not that I disagree. It's that government is fundamentally at this point not fulfilling uh, its mandate. It is actually fulfilling as much as it can the mandate of corporations. Right. So just sure. bypassing government and bringing in corporations is an even more fucked up way of doing things from my perspective. Like to me, it's like, again, the theory of capitalism is fantastic. The theory of communism is fantastic. There's so many things that are in theory, if they work well and people have the best of intentions, are great. But in reality, people often... Um, just succumb to their, their basest instincts, and which includes, I hate to break this to you, <clears throat> but Kamala Harris, who is then uh, the vice presidential candidate in, in America, she's got a really bad, right? Like we were talking last episode, like, you know, a lot of black people in America, they're not really a big fan of Kamala Harris. Well, I did some research and I found yeah. out why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, yeah. The, the problem with Kamala is, as much as I'm a big supporter of having a person of color as the vice president and possible president of the United States, she really didn't like helping innocent people who have been convicted. Uh, she, in California, um, she, just, she just tried to make sure she defended her win record, even though there were people like Daniel Larson, who was uh, convicted, of, convicted of possession of a concealed uh, knife in Los Angeles, but obviously he was innocent, uh, and she she uh, did everything she could to block evidence about that. There was um, a black person. There's a black person, Kevin Cooper, who's on death row right now, who cannot get a DNA test to prove his innocence. It's a twelve dollar test, and he's been in jail since 1983. Since 1983, he's been asking for a DNA test. You do that test, it's a $12 test, you do it in a freaking hour, and you could prove, oh, well, Mr. Cooper, Kevin Cooper, you mm -hmm. said we were on a DNA test, but guess what? Your DNA is there. Or, oh, Mr. Cooper, the DNA proves that you didn't freaking do it. Like, it's yeah. like she's it's so oh, the Democratic, the Democrat vice president, you know, nominee mm -hmm. is basically a right wing cop. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and this yeah. and this one thing I'll just make this really quick because it's a really this this and okay here let me have a caveat first off like a, a pile of kangaroo dung would make a better president than Donald Trump. <laughs> oh. Let me just Whoa. make this clear, okay? So I am Hot not take. saying yeah exactly. So let's just make this clear. <laughs> However, uh, as we are supporting Biden and Kamala. There's the case of John Restivo, who was a, actually a white American who was accused of, he and his two friends were accused of grabbing a young girl and raping her, like they were in a van. They're accused of grabbing a young girl, raping her and dumping her body within 45 minutes because there's proof that these three men were in one place in, at one point in time. Then 45 minutes later, there's absolute proof that they were in another place. Now, what the cops did was they planted a hair from the victim in their van. And the reason why they figured out that the hair was planted is because uh, it's a little bit of complicated science, but basically once you die, then your hair starts doing this thing called root banding. And after four hours, root banding begins in your hair. And there's this, there's this process that happens in your hair where your hair ch fundamentally changes. So the piece of hair that they found in this van which happens only after at least four hours, 
had root banded. It was one pristine piece of hair that was found in this van. This is proof positive that this guy, there, these three men could not possibly have within 45 minutes met someone, raped them and killed them and dumped their body. This is absolute proof. Kamala Harris like pushed and, and pushed against these people. And they, this guy was in jail for 18 years. 18 years this mm -hmm. guy was in jail for a crime that he did not commit. So he gets out of jail. No, sorry. So he proves this. So his, his lawyers say, okay, here's this hair. There's root banding. There's no way within 45 minutes that this root banding could happen. Instead, in Kamal Harris, instead of saying, oh, you're right. Okay, no problem. She kept him in jail and said, it must have been somebody that he knew. So then she literally went to every single person that this guy knew and did a DNA test of every, for five years. She did a DNA test of every single guy that this guy knew. And then after five years, eventually they were like, okay, well, I guess maybe you didn't do it. So after 18 years in prison, this guy was let free. Is Kamala Harris perfect? No. But this is the reason why a lot of people are saying she's not necessarily the, the wonderful person that everybody wants. And, and that's likely going to be, she's going to be the second most powerful politician in the world, right? During a time where black people are looking for answers about the way they're treated by the police.